look at these. Mm -mm -mm. You go, girl. I'm talking to myself because I slayed it like I always do. It's your girl, Alia the Slayer. Hey, 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 butterflies. Welcome back to the channel. Look at this beautiful young lady. It was her birthday. She wanted some locks. I gave her these textured ass locks. They so fly. My locks just get better and better. I ain't gonna hold you no cap. Look like they grew right out her head. Now imagine like two, three weeks later. Oh, they gonna look so fire. Anyway, so I'm just gonna show you a little quick. If you watch any of my videos, you already know my method. So ain't nothing really change. You feel me? I wrap a little bit in one direction. Then I wrap the other direction. And I go up and down and push up. And I make sure I avoid any gapping by overlapping. And, you know, that's my method. Especially when it comes to colors. You don't want to have no little black hair poking out through them damn gold locks. It looks To me, that's, that, that's just tacky. Your hair, your twist, your braids should not be exposed. Okay? I know y'all like that messy look, but it's ways to get the messy look without it looking like it's fucking... You can see in the twist or the lot or the braid underneath. That's not professional. That's that DIY YouTube shit. Cool. I mean, if it works for you for the moment, enjoy. You see the way I wrapped it down and I was able to let it go and it didn't unravel? That's a sign that your lock is lit. If you let your lock go and the shit go and just open right up, then that means you ain't doing something right. Or your stylist ain't doing something right. So that means they're going to probably unravel on you. Yeah, pretty much. So you better hope that she did a crochet through the top because at least if it unravel, it won't come all the way out. So you see my locks, I've, I wrapped them down to like, I finished out the first piece of hair because I like to use shorter pieces. That's just my style per se. And um, especially when I'm doing mid back, I don't see the point of getting like long ass pieces for like a short length. And I'll just leave it right there. And I'm not worried about it coming out, like not even a little bit. Not my concern. It's not gonna happen. Period. You see that? So I already crocheted the hair through the entire row. Sometimes I do it row by row, and other times I do it throughout the whole head. Depends how I'm feeling for the day, and also on the size of the locks. So this is a good size for me to just do row by row. Maybe that's just how I'm feeling that day. I can't remember. So that's it, and then I wrap to one direction and I wrap to the other and this is my real wrapping speed so you get the idea like pretty much how I move I feel like this is slow to me it's probably fast to some people but uh, I'm not going as fast as I like to when I'm looking at it I've seen myself work and it's like pa 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 and here it's just like yeah it's all right but it's not always about speed it's about perfection and creating a tension-free pain-free lock so the twist is not super tight. You can see all the twists above. They're not like so tight. They can move. They're flexible. And I uh, spend a lot of time focus on the root. When I say a lot of time, I mean two, three, maybe four rotations around to make sure that it's solid and it looks like it's coming out of her head. Oh, wow. My client is talking to me. Hilarious. That's not unusual. I always chit chat with my clients. That's why I have Hair Story Podcast because that's what we do. You know what I mean? So if you have time, check out NYC Hair Story Podcast and, you know, listen to it. It's a great podcast. We're available wherever you listen to podcasts. And if you don't know what a podcast is, you're probably 58 years old. Like, what the fuck? Google it. It's like radio on the internet. So that's that. You see me working. All right, so now here's some footage from my Instagram. Is this the same lady? Yeah, so this is pretty much start to finish, kind of fast forwarded. So I started off, you know, with my twist. That's my regular thing. Boom, boom, boom. Business is booming. People are commenting because I'm on Instagram Live. I don't always do hair on Instagram Live because I don't want everybody popping up on me like, oh, you in there? Let me just show up and bother you. No, no, we're not doing that. But um, I do Instagram Live sometimes, and especially because I just started this YouTube channel and I really wanted content just to have it up there. So I was like, eh, let me start off with some lives. But yeah, so there's some new improvements coming to the channel. I just wanted to have some stuff up so people can see my work. Look how beautiful she is. She's so cute. So her twists are all in. And I'm adding the curly hair to the ends. Y'all know that's how I like to do it. And then fast forward, fast forward. We already halfway through. 
that's how it be though. Like you just be like boom, 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 unless you know you're almost done. So this is about where we were when I was showing you that clip, and I I, I chose to show you that clip first because the the quality is a little trash because it came from Instagram Live. <laughs> but um, you get it, you know what I do. Shit's looking clean and mean. Fast forward, look at that, fuego. And I opted to just keep doing like I did like the whole head halfway down, and then I wrap at the end, wrap to the ends. And then I did my trim last. And them locks. Look at them locks. Bruh. It's people with real locks. I wish they locks looked like that. Not to mention my locks are fire. Why be humble? It is what it is. So, yep. I'm just trimming off the little excess hairs. It looks so good. I'm so proud of this. I don't usually like highlights. But I have a method um, for doing my highlights where I... Add a little bit of color into the regular locks as well. So that it doesn't just look like mm, just out of nowhere. But, you know, still cute. She wanted originally the whole thing to be 27. I'm glad she didn't do that. All right. So if you get some time, check out NYC Butterfly Braids Hair Story Podcast. Available wherever you listen to your podcast. And whospoilersyou.com. Follow me on Instagram at butterfly underscore braids. And at hairstyles by her underscore. Love you guys so much. All the links are below. Be sure to drop some butterflies in the comments. And I will go ahead and share some love to your YouTube page. And share this. Share this on your Pinterest, on your Reddit, on your Facebook stories, Facebook page. And show people what's going on in these streets. Because they need to get the scoop. We out here. And I appreciate you. Thank you. May your hair grow long and your edges stay strong. Bye butterfly.